Good day viewers, welcome to Second Math Hub, the solution to your math problems. We are still on Ghana Teacher Line Essential Exams. We are solving past questions on numerous April 2024. Question 16. A rectangular swimming pool has a base dimension of 10 meters by 6 meters and is 2 meters deep. So let's quickly represent uh, this rectangular swimming pool. So this is our rectangular swimming pool and the di dimensions were given 10 meters by 6 meters so the base dimension so the length is the longest side so the length was given as 10 meters the width was given as 6 meters and we were told that this pool is 2 meters deep so the deepness of the pool also represents the height of the pool. So the height is given us 2 meters. Now we want the maximum amount of water the pool can contain. We want the maximum amount of water this pool can contain. So the maximum amount of water it can contain here also represents the volume of water this uh, pool can contain. So let's quickly calculate the volume of this pool. Now to calculate the volume of a rectangular pool, you are going to use the formula the length times the width times the height. So let's do the substitution. The length here was 10 meters multiplied by the width 6 meters multiplied by the deepness also represented as the height 2 meters. 10 times 6, that is 60. And then 60 times 2, 120. So the volume of this pool here is given as 120 meters cube. But now, they want us to find the water this pool can contain in liters. Given that 1, meters, uh, one meter cube is equivalent to 1000 liters. Now we have calculated the volume that is 120 meters cube. So let's convert 120 meters cube to liters. So we know that every one meter cube is equivalent to 1000 liters. So meaning that this 120 meters cube must also be equivalent to a certain quantity in letters. So at this point, at this point, if more, let's divide. We are applying our proportion here. If more, let's divide. So 120 divided by one meter cube times thousand letters. So during the exam, calculators are allowed. You can enter this value on your calculator's memory. 120 divided by 1 times 1,000 liters. 120,000 liters. 120,000 liters. So looking at the alternatives, looking at the alternatives, the right answer is option C. Thanks for watching.